<laughs> Don't you ever talk to me again, Angus! Yes. Never again! Oh, what are you so worried about? You didn't hate your performance that much. <laughs> they threw tomatoes at me! They threw knives at me! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Only because you refused to take off that hat with the apple on top of it! <laughs> I'll stand by my decision on that. Yes, well I don't think that... <laughs> Angus, Hi. do you ever get the feeling that we're being watched? <laughs> 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 nah, it's just your paranoia because you're shite performance. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Angus. I think they are watching us. Well, I can't really blame them, to be honest. Ogling it. Fitness freaks such as myself. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Good point. We should investigate this. All right. You take that half, I'll take that half. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do not be afraid. I am not meaning to intimidate you by thespianism. I haven't even said anything yet. <laughs> Ask a question. How long have you been Do you know how to spell theatre? What? Theatre. <laughs> what? You're studying on this course. Greetings, man. And who are you? Hello. Oh. <laughs> I see! My favourite combination of three letters! Arpa! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a health junkie myself. <laughs> we got some interesting ish people in the audience. They know how to spell theatre, right, for starters. <laughs> However, did you get your degree? Well, it just kept me attendance above 90%. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course. The point stands, Angus. You never apply yourself. You need to focus more on your diet. I have the body of someone half my age. Congratulations! You're a thriving ten-year-old who weighs 15 stone. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry that I can't survive on grass. <laughs> I will have you know that my non-gluten, fat-free, dairy-free, carb-free, flavour-free, enjoyment-free, vegan carrot paste contains all the nutrients I need. <laughs> well, I didn't realise that you're a pine tree with a cold. <laughs> you don't want to talk to me about food when just the other day I walked into your room and caught you deep-frying your own belt. <laughs> uh, it was leather, so I had some meat on it. At which point you smothered it in chocolate. Or just to enhance the flavour. And threw it into a pot of what I can only recall smelling was boiling whiskey. Well, clearly you've never had a Scottish stew. <laughs> yes, I'll have later. Oh, Arthur, you don't need to worry about your diet too much. I'll tell you about a guy who didn't care about anyone's diet. Who? Death. <laughs> Well, of course Death doesn't care about diet. Have you seen how many visible ribs he has showing? He could pass for a supermodel. It's a dangerous thing, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> to take a Scotsman's drink from him. I'm doing it for your own good, Angus. I see. You see, Angus, we need to push past our petty vices and learn with... Hmm? Ha-ha! Why steal your tricks now? <laughs> oh, yes you are. That you Oh, look! Thomas! Where? Here! Oh, <laughs> oh Arthur. <laughs> I'm here on the first day. I'm with you around. I sure get the exercise. Yes! <laughs> I get the surety that I'll never have children. Oh, no, no, no. You've got your personality to thank for that one. <laughs> <laughs> there is no more avoiding it, Angus. You need to eat more healthy. How do you suppose I go about doing that? By consuming the greatest Scottish kryptonite. You don't mean... Yes, Angus. Fruit! 
I don't think I can, Arthur. I don't have the power. <laughs> Very well, Arthur. I shall eat fruit. Good luck, my friend. It begins. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up! 